If you want to create a permanent fold, I will show you how to do it. A permanent fold for the neckline or maybe mittens, any trim, or any way you want to use it. So this is the technique. I used it in my socks and I really like it. Not all the time, but sometimes you can use it. So the first um, row or round, if you knit in the round, just repeat this, this row, the instructions for this specific row or round, that'll be a round. Um, if you knit flat, then you will have first and second uh, row to repeat. So the first row or round, what we do is we slip every purl stitch and this applies to ribs. So one by one rib, two by two ribs, three by three, four by four, uh, we'll be pushing it, but you can try it. So we will slip every purl stitch and we will knit every knit stitch. Let's do it. So knit, knit, slip with the yarn in front, slip, and knit stitches, slip purl stitches with the yarn in front, knit, slip stitches with the yarn in front, and do it for the rest of the row or round. The instructions in the round and flat here are identical. The second row, if you're knitting flat, if you're working flat, will be different. If you're working around, repeat what we just did. Three, uh, four times would be the minimum that I would go for. Uh, you can go up to six rounds, um, but don't go more than that or less than that. It just doesn't create enough of the fold. So now, if you're working flat, this is the second round that you will repeat out of the two. You will purl the purl stitches and the stitches that we slipped before, that's where we slipped them. Slip the stitches purl wise with the yarn in the back. Purl the purl stitches. Slip knit stitches with the yarn in the back. Um, I purl continental, so if you want to see what it looks like when you purl normal style, it just takes a little bit more yarn than the way I do it. Uh, so for those who do it that way, you're, this is why your stitches are looser. And then, sorry, these will be slip, slip with the yarn in the back. This is the way I purl. It creates a tighter stitch. So my knit stitches are identical to, um, I use the same amount of yarn for my knit stitches and for my purl stitches. But there's a drawback to this. Your stitches will be turned. So you have to remember that. So slip, slip with the yarn in the back, purl, purl. And if you have one by one rib, then slip one stitch, purl one stitch. I can just slip these. Okay, so these are the two rounds. Now, it's still undefined, you still can't see much. So let's repeat these two rows in this instance. Okay. Knit, knit, slip two stitches with the yarn in front, knit, knit, slip, slip. And keep doing that to the end of the row or round. We're just repeating the same instructions. If you're working flat, you can just slip these two stitches and leave them be because we will need them on the next round. 
or the last two just for better structure you can just purl because you will be either sewing the edge or doing something with this this part so it will just um, have a better structure here if they worked and not slipped so now you see that we started developing that that fold right um, and this is the double fabric I will show you the anatomy of it in a minute so let's repeat the second row or round if you're working if you're working flat then slip the stitches purl the stitches and if you're working in a round just repeat that round one more time slip purl slip So now we see this is the wrong side and we see those little extra fabric creates uh, those little holes and this is the right side. So now we're developing that little fold. All right, let's work one more row and I would suggest do it probably five, um, five to six rows, rounds. Knit, knit, slip. Remember to knit all of the knit stitches on the right side and slip all of the purl stitches. If you're working around or flat on the right side. Okay. Now this is good enough fabric that I built. And now you can really tell that this is that, that fold that we created. It will hold like that. There. So what we did, we just created a double fabric or a fold over. And if we pull the needles away. So this is where we didn't work these stitches. That's the wrong side. The right side, we build up that material that just folds over. That's what creates that fold. So there it is. I hope you like it and you will use it. And this is what it will create. If let's say this is at the neckline, this will never stretch out. It will keep because of those floats there. There it is.